Welcome to Life Mastery. My name is Sharika Swaby and in today's video we will be talking about five ways that you can raise your vibration, improve your mood, feel better. So if you're new to this channel, this cha on this channel we talk about everything that has to do with improving your life, improving yourself, preparing for a, a future that is designed by you, created by you, that is for you. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. Share this video with a friend. I promise it's going to be really, really amazing. Now, the first way to improve your mood, to raise your vibration, is with gratitude. I started with this one because it's really common, it's very popular, and a lot of people are aware of it. It's the simplest one as well. All you need to do is write down a list of things that you are grateful for and be intentional. So sit down, take the time to pay attention to what you're doing. If you're just writing it leisurely and not noticing it, it's not going to have the effect that it, it is supposed to have. You have to be intentional, you have to pay attention to what you're doing. And as you write down the things that you're grateful for, take, take the time to, to see those things, to acknowledge what those things do for you in your life, to acknowledge the fact that you can see, you can see the colors, you can see the sun, you can see the rays of the sun, you can see the setting sun. Take the time to acknowledge the fact that you have, you can taste, or that your legs are working, you are in perfect health. Be intentional with your gratitude list. Now this list can be from five things to as many things as you choose. It's all up to you. All that matters is that you are intentional when you are writing down the things that you are grateful for. List them. I am grateful for this or thank you for this. It will change your perspective on whatever situation you're currently going through or even if you just want to feel really great you're not having any issues once you're intentional it works like magic now the next thing is I'm gonna call it 1.1 because it still falls under gratitude right and I call it romanticizing gratitude this is something that I came up with when I was having a rough time with some crazy thoughts that they just couldn't seem to end. And I was walking on a field one evening and I just started to list out the things that I was grateful for. But I amped it up, amped it up some way when I was sitting in my car. And what I started to do was I, start, I used my body and I touch each body part so I would go thank you for the hair on my head thank you for my forehead thank you for my nose thank you for my mouth I touch my hair as I say thank you for my ear I touch my eyes as I say thank you for my eyes and I was very very intentional with this I also did it slowly it was like a prayer or a meditation because what happens is these, if you put your hand against any surface and be quiet, you will feel your heartbeat, your energy flow um, as you, when you touch the wall or the surface, any surface at all. If you do that, you will feel that energy flow, right? So when you, and then your body is also a field of energy. So when you touch the surface of your body, any part of your body, when you're intentional, you're relaxed, you're in a quiet place, peaceful, when you do that, you raise the level of energy in your body, you raise your vibration naturally just with touching alone. And then we all know that the word thank you is such a high vibrating word, it's such a powerful word. So when you, when you touch your body while saying those words automatically it's like lighting a fire within yourself it literally you, you start to feel the energy flowing within your body and it, it, it's so powerful you can feel the force well, that's, that's 
that's what it does for me maybe with practice and meditation on and other things I may feel it more than other people would but with practice I'm sure that it would have the same effect for you so go ahead and give it a try I promise you it's absolutely amazing you will definitely love it all right and also another way that you can do this is not with your body at all I start at the back of my house and I start saying thank you for every single thing that's in the house and the house as well so I am grateful for every window pane I say thank you for the washing machine thank you for the washroom thank you for the thing thank you for the pipe thank you for the water thank you for the refrigerator the stove start at the back of the house and move to the front and be grateful for every single piece of furniture or whatever you can remember that's in there every pen every pencil every book every piece of clothes in your closet just start being grateful for everything this may take a minute but at the end of doing all that you come to realize that you have so much to be grateful for one and you're not as bad off as you may think okay so number three number three is spending time in nature so if you have the luxury of the woods or a forest or a river somewhere close by that's flowing take a moment 15 20 minutes walk into that space again be intentional intention is going to play a very very big role in this be intentional take off your shoes walk slowly notice how your feet feels when it touches the ground hug a tree put your forehead the center of your forehead on that tree feel the energy and vibration of the tree put your foot in the water if you have a river nearby lay down on the grass if you have a grassy backyard but take some time to connect with nature because think about it. Everything in life is a cycle, right? Your body comes from the earth. You die, you're buried, you decay, you become the earth again. And that earth that you become is nourishment for a tree, right? And that tree grows and it goes through the same cycle that you did. Everything is connected. Except that the trees and the grass, those things are constantly connected to the earth. And the earth itself is a big vibrating ball, ball of powerful energy. So when you take the time to connect with that, it grows you. Now, the third thing that you can do to raise your vibration is forgiveness and kindness observation so I tied these two together because they can be right now most people are depressed most people are angry most people are bitter let me not say most a lot of people are depressed a lot of people are angry a lot of people are bitter why because they are holding on to things that no longer serve them they're holding on to the childhood abuse, they're holding on to the past relationship that was abusive or destructive in some kind of way. They're holding on to the things that they themselves have done wrong. And so they are trapped in that vibration. Believe it or not, every single thing that we do has its own vibration. Every experience that we've had has its own vibration. Just like every word has its own vibration. Now, when you are holding on to the negative things that has happened to you, you are holding on to that vibration. You are holding on to that place that didn't feel so good. So you are stuck there. Letting go of that automatically shifts you into a better space which is what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is deciding that you no longer want to be associated with the pain that no longer serves you, that you don't, no longer want to be trapped in this place that's full of hurt and pain. Because you're stuck there because every time you memorize this pain, it feels worse with every memory. 
and your body doesn't know the difference between a memory and something that's occurring, occurring now. Right, so you're reliving this experience and this experience is keeping you stuck in a place where you don't necessarily want to be. So forgiving that thing and letting it go automatically puts you in a completely different space. It has to. It's like losing a, 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 a tied up dog that will really really wants to just go running and free himself maybe use the bathroom or something the, mo the moment you pull the chain it's freedom that's exactly what you do when you forgive situations it doesn't matter what the situation is and a lot of people find it hard to forgive themselves and it's really important that you do that as well you must forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done wrong and forgive yourself for the participation in the things that other people may have done to you. Alright? And then there's the kindness observation. I love this one because I think it's amazing. Well, I love all of these, but <laughs> I don't know. I just love this one. Alright, so kindness observation. I was, one, I was a part of this coaching program where the coach spoke about kindness and I've never heard of kindness in that way right and she said perform an act of kindness or five acts of kindness on that on a particular day or a particular week I don't remember quite exactly but I took it a bit further what I did was I wrote down every single act of kindness that I could remember for over my lifetime it's everyone that I could remember I'm sure if I whenever I do this exercise again I will remember new things right because that's how the memory works but everything that you can remember in that moment write it down every act of kindness write it down and then for me this was like such an amazing experience I literally cried because I had not noticed how kind people had been to me I had not noticed how much kindness I had received over my lifetime right and it was a tremendous amount and it made me incredibly grateful so I promise you if you try this exercise it's it's amazing for me it was amazing right and then after you've done that exercise what you do is you go out and you find 45 people to show kindness to and this kindness practice you can do it every day just be kind to make it intentionally be kind to one person every single day you love it well i do <laughs> all right so that was number three Number four is one that everybody should know, but that everyone practices, and that is exercise. Moving the body. The body has these pockets of feel-good endorphins and all kinds of other scientific names that I don't want to go into at the moment. Some of them I don't remember. But the body is filled with these hormones, right? And they get triggered by laughter and joyful moments and um, drugs in some instances, right? However, there is one natural, healthy way that you can trigger those hormones, and that is through exercise. Now, exercise doesn't have to be aerobics. Exercise doesn't have to be running. Exercise doesn't have to be pumping weights, right? But those are ways that you can do it, and those work also. It can be dancing. It can be yoga. It can be any kind of, it can be tai chi. It can be any kind of movement that works for you once you're moving your body once you're getting your blood pumping the other morning I go running in the morning and then I do some exercise not a lot some what do you call that kind of exercise 
jumping jacks and mountain climbers and whatever. So I go running and then I do some of those, right? And the other morning, I pushed myself. So usually I do five or, five or six laps around the field. That morning, I stepped it up a notch. I, there were some hurdles on the field and I jumped over those and I ran up the steps and I just, I went nonstop. It was amazing. I felt like, <laughs> I felt like I had unlocked a whole new level of joy within my body that I've never, I, don't, I can't say that I've felt that before in exercise. Well, maybe I have. But this morning, I guess it had been a while since I had felt so good exercising. But on this morning, it was so good and I was high for the rest of the day, like literally. Couldn't break me. I was high for the rest of the day. I felt so amazing. That's how powerful your exercise can be. You can do amazing things for the way you feel. So imagine if you get up in the mornings and you do that. You start your day on the highest possible note. Especially if you do your gratitude in that and you will say your affirmations with that and all of the amazing things that you can do to set your morning up for power. You can't go wrong. So exercise is one way to put a smile on your face. I was standing there on the field by myself, feeling so amazing, feeling so powerful, feeling like I could take on the world. It was fantastic. I loved it. So give that a shot. Push yourself. Your limit is actually not your limit. When you think you've reached your limit, there is so much more that, that you can do, so much further that, that, that you can go. So go ahead and try out some workouts. you love it. Okay, so the final one is called Ho'oponopono. This is a, this is a Hawaiian practice for forgiveness and love. So what you do, what, what I do is when I do this one, I put one hand on my belly, the, the other one in on my heart area, and I repeat the words, I love you. Okay, no, let me start over. I repeat the words, I am sorry, please forgive me, I forgive myself, I love you, thank you. And these words are powerful. Say it in your mind. Say it reverently. Be quiet. Make sure you're in a quiet space. Relax. You can use do music as well if you so desire. Make sure it's music that helps with your vibration. And you just relax and you repeat that. When I do, I literally feel things shift in my body every single time without fail I literally feel things shift in my body and it's so amazing it, it, it removes so much clutter from you it, it's another way to say I forgive myself and I forgive everyone that has caused me harm it's a way to heal the world your environment around you it's a powerful powerful practice I'm gonna do a separate video about the whole a pono pono practice and I'm also gonna do another video about romanticizing gratitude but the whole pono pono practice is really powerful it's really powerful and it's a way to shift your mind it's a way to heal yourself it's a way of letting go and it's a way of healing the world while you heal yourself so give that one a try again all you need to do is just relaxed relax and on your chest area the other hand on your belly close your eyes and just repeat those words I am sorry please forgive me I forgive myself I love you thank you and for me it changes things I don't know how to put words to it I just know that it does so those are five ways 
let me repeat them one is gratitude 1.1 1 .1 is romanticizing gratitude number two is spending time in nature number three forgiveness and kindness of observation number four is exercise and number five is the whole polo polo practice go ahead and try those out and at separate times and see the magic that happens for you feel good feel high vibe feel like you're on drugs when you're really not <laughs> and enjoy your life because you can certainly do that my name is Sharika Swaybe. this video was about raising your vibration if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please go ahead and do so tell a friend about this video share it with someone who you know that it will help until next time this has been life mastery and have yourself a pleasant rest of the day